Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author of trading with over 190k reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market, are doing, which are essentially hedge funds, so the big players in the market. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the high highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment is testing a quite strong historical structure support area for this market. In fact, what we can notice is that from here, multiple rejections to the upside were created. We can see how every time that the market tested its zone, it got rejected to the upside quite aggressively. And we can see how at the moment the market is testing the same area has already started rejecting it to the upside. And from here, we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this zone. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly standpoint, the first thing that we have to notice is that we had a massive impulse to the downside. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of an impulse, you would expect a correction and then the continuation lower if the market was to follow through with the creation of a bearish trend. Because what we know is that if we have a bearish trend, it means that we have a market which is creating lower lows and lower highs. Now, in this specific case, however, what happened is that we had a massive impulse to the downside, then we had a horizontal accumulation phase, and then the market got rejected to the upside. Now, I did make a full tutorial on accumulation and distributions area, which you can go and check out in my tutorial playlist, but the simplified version of the explanation of what an accumulation area is, is when you have a massive impulse to the downside, the market becomes overextended, then you have a horizontal ranging market, and that is where institutions start entering longs into the market, and then you get a rejection to the upside, which is essentially exactly what just happened here. You had a massive impulse to the downside, accumulation phase, and then the market got rejected to the upside. And we will go and see how institutions have been moving their orders later on. Now, we can also notice by zooming in a bit closer that we now also got a break of structure because if you follow the movement, it, what happened when the market created this move to the downside and then the accumulation is that with the creation of this move to the upside, the market broke above this previous high, which at that point was turned previous weekly resistance turned support. So this previous area of resistance from which this red candle was created was broken to the upside with this weekly candle here retested here with this wix and currently the market is rejecting it to the upside, essentially creating an uptrend and also a new weekly higher high because we had this impulse correction continuation higher. At this point, we could expect the market to follow through with more higher highs and higher lows. Now, if we drop down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily standpoint, I did speak about EURUSD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it when the market was here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection higher again. When the market was here, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect first this correction and then from here the continuation to the upside and again that is exactly what the market gave us and then after this impulse I explained all the reasons for which we could expect a correction and then the creation of a higher high and again that is what the market did and by the way I will link in description all these previous analysis so you can go and check them out for more free education now if we go and see what we have before we continue with the technicals here if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so how institutions are moving their positioning, we have to check the data precisely for the euro. Now, 
You have to keep in mind that if we're checking the data for the euro, we are actually already checking euro USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And if we would, if we do that, what we can see is that net positions with the last reports have been increasing quite massively. We went from having 75.5k net positions all the way up to having 108.9k net positions with another 8,700 longs added with the last report and 11,100 shorts getting closed. So clearly institutions are adding longs and closing shorts, making EURUSD stronger. Now, in a situation where EURUSD is getting stronger, so clearly institutions are moving to the bullish side of the market. And we have already seen that from a technical perspective on the monthly and weekly, everything seems quite bullish the higher probabilities are clearly to the bullish side. So I would be looking for only for potential longs here on EURUSD. However, continuing, continuing with our analysis here from a daily perspective, when it comes to the technicals, we have a problem because the market is at the moment exactly at the previous daily high. Now, looking for a long at the previous daily high is never a good idea because at any moment the market could create a double top. And anyway, looking for a long at a resistance area definitely decreases the probabilities of the setup. Therefore, there are two different areas instead of which potentially I would see something interesting for EURUSD. And these two areas are either if the market breaks above this high and then goes for a retest, because at that point, this previous resistance would become support here. So this would definitely be an area instead of which we would have good probabilities of seeing more institutional longing at that point, further increasing the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this area. Or if we get a push lower, because at that point, we would have the creation of an M pattern. And after the creation of an M pattern, what we could expect is a rejection to the upside for a completion of the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous support turned resistance from a daily standpoint. So if the market would create this M pattern at that point, we would have good probabilities for a potential rejection to the upside and completion of the pattern at the neckline, which in that case would be this area here of previous daily support at that point turn resistance also the neckline of the m pattern itself now how we could be approaching these two potential movements depending on whether of the two the market will like to create well as usual trading is reactive and not predictive the monthly weekly and daily time frames combined with the cot data those are the best time frames from a directional perspective however when it comes to confirmations and entries the best time frames are the intraday time frames so for our and lower therefore potentially what we could be doing if the market will break above this area or if it will create an M pattern is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we could be looking for a potential move higher for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline here, or for the creation of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which is linked both in description and in my bio. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the web market breakdowns and the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.